Been running away from this city parade Running away from this emptiness they made I keep looking for a world I can't believe in Looking for a world I can't believe in On the road so long I keep looking for my home well, it will be, but I hope it won't be long. I keep looking for a world I can't believe in. Ooh, can we build the dreams together? Live. I'm hunting that corner lot again, and look what I just dug. Uh, it's a belt buckle. It looks like it uh, might have had coins glued in there at one time. I'm going to check around this area really well, see if maybe the coins are around here, but there's no coins left. Anyway, that's my guess, or it could have been fake coins, I don't know. Pretty neat. I'll keep on plugging along here. Stay tuned. Just got two items in one hole. Just a piece of junk here, and this appears to be... Um, some type of lid but it's got a really neat design on it and um, in a unique oval type shape I'll take it home and see oh, it could have some could have been some type of makeup or powder looks like it might have some writing there I'll take it home and check it out cool fine stay tuned still hunting still hunting at that uh, corner lot and I uh, just got me a token, I think. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's got a man on the front. And uh, it looks like it says Texas Lottery on the back. I didn't even know they made these. Interesting. Anyway, that's a fun find. We'll keep on hunting. Hey there. So, uh. I'm not far from where I got that Indian head penny that time and I just popped this and I um, rubbed on it just a little to see if it was an Indian head penny because that's what I thought it was. Well first I thought it was a zinc penny then I thought it was an Indian head penny but I think I can make out some letters here. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure but I think it's a um, it says Mexicanos on there. Um, I'll clean it up when I get home because my bag here is full and uh, I can't get to my... Hi there. So now we've got the wrap up for this hunt. Um, and I want to go ahead and show you I did dig a lot of targets. There is so much trash out at this uh, spot. Lots of um, nails and screws and stuff too. I did find a um, square nail, found several square nails there. Um, but a quick wrap up for you, trash. Uh, did get a mason jar lid, didn't clean it up, it's full of dirt. Um, I was digging in one spot where there was, you could tell there was um, maybe part where they had burned a bunch of stuff, probably a trash dump site. Uh, got pulled up buttons and part of an ashtray. I don't know why I kept that. Um, probably part of a car. Um, then over here um, I did get a toy car. I think it is a um, it's missing two wheels. It's a Hot Wheel. I didn't check the date. It's not that old I don't think. Um, just a quick little glance here. did get this piece. It is brass, um, and it's very heavy. Not sure exactly what that went to. Um, this isn't very old, but I uh, did get a gas cap. Um, that trashy area where I was digging with the burnt trash, I got this. 
Anybody ever got one of these? An old roller. I used to use these in my hair um, back in the 80s and 90s, I think. Um, you'd heat them, they'd heat up on the little electric rollers and then you would roll them in your hair. Um, let's see, got lots of those lead weights again. Um, a lot of them have holes in them. Uh, then um, one of my neat finds, are, it's cool to me, I, I liked it because it is a belt buckle. Uh, looks like it might have had a silver plating at one time that's coming off. Um, and it possibly could have had some coins glued in there, which are no longer there. Um, but um, I would say they're about nickel size. So, who knows? Um, but it's still a neat find to me. Um, then I did get a few coins at this site. Um, if you look back in my past videos, I've hunted this area quite a bit. I did find an IHP Indian head penny. I think it was 1902 or 03. I can't remember. You can check back in my videos. Um, these were all modern. This one's a zinc penny. Did get a piece of, um, I think it's a piece of a bracelet or jewelry. Um, but, um, and then I did get this coin wall. I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, did get this, as you saw in the video. I'm not sure what it went to. I cleaned it off as best I could. Um, I think there's some type of writing here, right here, but I can't make it out. Maybe somebody knows what that went to. I'm thinking it was a powder, a woman's powder or something of that nature. And so here we have, um, I think it's just part of uh, like an alarm clock. It is brass, inner part. Um, then I thought this was really neat. Uh, the token that I found in the video, uh, it's starting to corrode on the back a little. It says Texas Lottery. And then in, in the center it has a man that looks similar to Superman, but on his chest he has a dollar sign. And then, um, let's see, maybe I can zoom in there for you for a sec. Scratch man in search of instant winners. <laughs> That's kind of neat. So I looked it up on the web just to get an idea of the date on that. And um, it was uh, 1995 through 97. And uh, Texas Lotto still gives them away to collectors that want to uh, them to send them one. Um, anyway, just a little interesting thing there. Never knew that they made those. Uh, then, I guess one of my favorite finds for the, the day was this. You can kind of make out the eagle. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Um, it's not in the best of shape. I really thought I was digging a um, an Indian head penny at first. But there is the back. And then, let's see here the front. I'll just show a non-dug example. This is a 1945 uh, one cent piece. Um, what's interesting is I dug a centavo coin there once, uh, which you'll see in one of my past videos, and I think it was 1945 as well. So I've got, I found coins ranging in this one little corner lot here, all the way from 1903 with my IHP to the 1920s with my mercury dime and then all the way up to some of your modern. So, um, such a variety there, this spot. Now one other thing is this is another piece of lead, melted lead, very heavy piece. 
Um, so that's the wrap up and I just wanted to thank you all for watching and if you haven't already please like and subscribe. I'm working my way to a thousand subscribers and once I reach a thousand I will be giving away some Roman coins. So please like and subscribe. One other thing I wanted to say, I found this bottle. It's not that old I don't think, but um, on the bottom it does say it was made in Italy, which I thought was neat. Just noticed that a while ago. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.